This is another one of those contracts where we are going to abdicate our responsibility as council members to uh, act as a check and balance. But my problem is we have a process for uh, authorizing contracts that we use taxpayer dollars to fund. If we hold the line on this and require the mayor to bring this uh, back to council as an approved uh, to, for the approval of council, then we can we're big enough as a customer to make that demand that they change their policy to meet ours. I would uh, propose an, an amendment that requires uh, this contract to be brought back before council. But the city of Houston is not that big a player that the utility industry is going to hold its rates while we deliberate uh, fully. And whoever has the best price at that moment, you lock it in. You lock it in. And if you wait, the price is subject to increasing. But let me be, I want to just be crystal clear. This is not a new process. It was done in 2012 on this very same deal. Thank you, Mayor. As regarding the previous council's decisions, those occurred in 2012, and I was not on this council at the time. I think it's important that we focus our attention on our charter and that somebody around this table uh, tries to adhere to that charter. Uh, and so that's the, the nexus of my opposition to this particular idea that we just randomly or routinely give uh, or abdicate our authority of oversight uh, directly to the mayor. Well, thank you. And neither do, am I choosing to abdicate my role as the mayor and CEO of this city. I will not abdicate it to you. Now, when you choose to be mayor, you can certainly exercise your authority. All in favor of the amendment, um, please raise hands on the amendment. Councilmember Kubash, Councilmember Travis, Councilmember Knox, opposed to the amendment. Amendment failed.